one of the things that I share on my podcast is this uh, entrepreneur journey, right? In the beginning, you're, you know, bright eye, bushy tail, hopeful, and then you get good at it, get good at it. And then you have this egoic self-expression, nothing I do is wrong. And then at some point you achieve everything you want and then you get to the trough of disillusionment. Is there all there is? What's the point of having all these accolades? Why? Why? Uh, why? Right. And at, but at some point you uh, get through this journey of enlightenment, you get out of it, come to realize hey, that's great. And this is great. And what's next for, for me? So it sounded like you actually went through that process a bit. Yes. Could you, for someone who is going through this trough of disillusionment right now, due to COVID, due to the economy, due to, you know, business re- disruption, due to all these things, right? They're at the trough of disillusionment. Right. And it's painful. And a lot of people may not be able to relate because most people don't want to talk about this trough of disillusionment. What would you say to that person listening right now? Well, I guess it's normal. COVID notwithstanding, there are going to be troughs. Don't beat yourself up over that it's happening. I tend to internalize and say, this is happening to me and this is terrible. And it's this existential threat and everything that's happening as the expression goes to me, not for me. And so it's hard to do. And with a little work that I've done and obviously CK and others, it's, this is all happening for a reason and tell yourself it's happening for me instead of playing, I almost said the victim. That's too dramatic. I apologize for that, but know that it's going to get better. You're going to get better too. I think just keep plugging away. You got to keep moving forward. And that's where this whole open and this whole curiosity that I have. If you're, if something is not working or you're trying something, take a little break, watch a little television, go for a little walk. You got to get out of your own head sometimes. If I'm in my own head, you know, I'm in those troughs as well. And when it happens, I have a hard time getting out. I don't, sometimes I just don't have the mental strength or even the tools to always get out. And so when I do, I just have to get away, break it up. Uh, even if it's sitting on the couch for a day, normally you could go for a walk, bike ride, whatever it works, read a book. Not to stress that it's going to be forever. This is not your life. This is not your life. What do you mean by that? Not your life. Oh, if you're in the trough, right? There's more to life. It's lives are peaks and valleys. Oh, I see this singular thing that you're having trouble with. It's not the only thing. That's what you mean. When you're in a trough, whether it's just COVID sitting at home or spiritual trough. It's all peaks and valleys. It's all learning. It's all growing. And then when you get to the top, oh, wait a minute. Now you go back down sometimes. So you try to stay up there, let's be honest. But it's managing those peaks and valleys that helps. The middle part, you know, we can do that all day long. It's not only just the pe- the valleys. It's if things are going really well, don't get too comfortable. Embrace it. Love it. Go with it as much hard as fast as you can. But I think you may know in the end, just what goes up comes down. It's just a matter of how far and managing that. And when you're more enlightened, you'll stay up longer. And I'm still working and getting, <laughs> I'm still working on getting up there and staying up there for a little longer. And I've yeah. only yeah. been at this for about seven years. So I'm, I'm trying. Yeah. 